Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on the Experimental Camera Command. And a quick warning here, if you guys aren't good with flashing images and quick videos, this video might be a little bit messy, as the Camera Command can get quite glitchy. So just a quick trigger warning for you. The Camera Command itself hides behind an Experimental Toggle, so we're going to jump into the main menu of Minecraft here. We're going to jump into one of our worlds that we would like to add the Camera command 2. We're going to go down to the experiments and we're going to turn on the experimentals camera toggle. Then you would hit activate experiments and the wor the Minecraft will make a copy of your world that you can go ahead and try the camera command out on. So we're going to jump into this world over here already has the camera command toggled and I have made a few preset camera angles for us to check out first. If you guys are going to mess with a repeat command and the camera command inside of it. I highly suggest that you use a tag. So you can see in the beginning of my command it says execute at anyone with tag equals cam1. Having a tag inside of these commands is very important as you can actually get stuck inside of a funky camera angle and if you're running it on a repeat you'll be unable to clear it and unable to break the command block. So just be careful that you don't do repeat camera angles that you aren't sure about or you don't do them without a tag. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out these four different camera angles and then later on in the video I will show you how to create your own version of those camera angles. So like I was saying, we're going to need to add ourselves a tag. So we're gonna go ahead and go tag, at self, add, and I did cam one is our first one. And this one's gonna be located above our player's head facing down. So now you can see here that we're basically looking down at the player and the way that I face in the world does not have any effect on the camera it's always gonna stay just basically centered above my players head and it's gonna always follow me around fairly dynamically and you can see that the camera is actually not where my player is he's still down there on the ground so this little highlighted box that they gave us is actually still the box that you're looking at so you can still interact in the world and do normal things such as building blocks or destroying blocks and all that kind of fun stuff it's just it takes a little bit of getting used to as you can see that I'm not super accurate with it so let's go ahead and remove this cam1 tag from my player and we're gonna add a new camera to it we're gonna add cam2 and this one here is located far away from the player and it basically is going to dynamically follow which way we're facing and it's gonna let me move around fairly freely and this is what I call a free cam and it basically is going to let you kind of glitch into different rooms and you can see different stuff. It's not perfect, but it's a cool vanilla version of free cam. And then let's go ahead and remove camera two for me now. And we're going to try the third one that I added. And it's camera three. And this one here, whoops, glitched under the world here. This one is going to face the player and it's going to follow me as I walk around. So you could see how I'm walking around my command room here. I could showcase a bunch of random stuff, but you know, mostly you could use this yourself making videos to, you know, walk across a mountain range or a bridge or something and look very dynamic and professional inside of your video. And then the next camera angle that I want to show you guys, the next preset one here is cam four and camera four is basically the same thing that I did with the other one. We gotta remove this one first. All right, and we're gonna add cam four, and this one is going to be located behind me instead, and it's gonna follow me at that same type of angle. So it's gonna basically just follow the player in a really zoomed out third person view, basically. And this could be used as well to showcase areas around your world and all that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and actually start to break down the camera, com camera commands basics a little bit for you guys here. So I'm going to remove all my cameras from me. So we're going to remove camera four. And then we're going to go ahead and clear the camera. So when you guys have no camera on a repeat and you're just doing a normal camera command, you can go ahead and go camera slash camera at self clear and that will remove it and put you back into the angle that you were on previously so let's go ahead and check out the camera command here in the chat so when you pop up the camera command 
there's quite a few options here but it's not that intimidating it's pretty simple and we're gonna go over pretty much each option here individually so let's go ahead and just start by doing a camera set so we're gonna go camera itself set and then you're gonna see up in the top there we have several examples and then we have the minecraft vanilla ones the example ones are basically something that you can use to go ahead and create your own preset cameras in a behavior pack and then the minecraft ones are the basic examples that we would normally use so right now we're in minecraft first person if we go ahead and go minecraft free then you can see now it will lock the camera in a random position over here a certain position for default and I'm unable to actually affect the camera or change the camera or at all move it so I could be stuck here if we didn't have the ability to go ahead and clear it so we're gonna go camera itself clear now another way that you can change the position of it so if we go back into minecraft free here and we're stuck in that position we can go ahead and set it into minecraft first person and it'll bring me back into first person but the only thing is now if I press to change my camera angles per normal I can't actually change my camera angle I'm forever stuck here in third first person and we can go ahead and do the same thing with third person and I'm in third person here but I cannot switch back to first person without clearing that camera command and then there was one more here which is third person front which I'm sure you guys are familiar with as well when you switch through those camera angles and this basically could force a player into these camera positions with no ability to get back out of them so you guys want to be careful that you don't set these on players without eventually clearing them for them so now we're going to go camera self and we're just going to clear so those are the basic camera angles when we want to go ahead and create a custom camera position or something like that we want to use the minecraft free so we're going to go ahead and use camera at self set minecraft free and now you can see we have a few different options here we have rot pos which is rotation and position and we have facing and we have ease so let's go ahead and start off with position so this is where you can choose a actual coordinate location so we're gonna go ahead and choose the position above our players head with some tildes here and let's go ahead and just do say 10 blocks above the players head so now notice when I press this that the transition to 10 blocks above the players head is going to be instant so now I am 10 blocks above my head at that same angle there and it was an instant transition so if we wanted to make that transition slower we can go ahead and use what's called an ease so let's go ahead and type that in first so we're gonna go minecraft colon free and then we're gonna do ease and then we're gonna choose the amount of time that the ease will take so we're gonna do one second and then we're going to choose the type of ease and there's a bunch of different examples of eases which we can go ahead and check out online real quick here we have this function sheet of eases all these different ones that we can use so let's go ahead and choose one here and show you guys how to use this web page so we're going to try ahead and use in cubic so you can go ahead and take the words in cubic and we're going to use them in lower case lowercase with underscores between them as well as there's actually going to be some predictive ones in chat but I just want to show you guys how to use that actual web page so if we go in underscore cubic and then we do that same position but we actually we're gonna to have to clear our angle first so we're gonna clear our angle and then we're gonna run in underscore in underscore cubic into that same position and it's going to do a dynamic transition it's going to transition the camera in a different way so let's slow that down for a second let's choose a five second ease here that same exact one so we're going to go ahead and have to clear our camera angle again and then we're going to do that ease as five seconds in cubic and you can see that it's going to very slowly move us all the way up here 
There are 32 different options for the different types of eases. You can go ahead and check some of them out here in the chat, but it does get a little bit hard to read it. So once you choose a ease value, you can see in the top left there, it pops up with a fair amount of options for you. You got in underscore back, in underscore bounce, and so on and so forth. So let's try one more different one. We'll go in circ, and then we're gonna choose our position, and we're gonna choose above the player's head, and we're gonna do 10 blocks again. But this time we'd like to change the angle that it's facing. So now you can do two different rotation values. You get to do the angle in the Y and then the angle on the X. And it's a little bit confusing because it seems to say the opposite in the predictive check in the predictive chat. But when we type 90 in, we're gonna be talking about facing downwards on top of the player, like in our first example earlier in the video. So let's go ahead and check that out. And you can see it used a ease, that was the circular ease. It transitioned gradually and it put us 10 blocks above my head, and it used a 90 degree camera angle. So we're looking straight down on my player right now. So we can go ahead and clear the camera and we can go ahead and try a different camera angle of negative 90 and we'll go ahead and do the same thing and now you can see that I'm looking up at the ceiling or this would be the sky if I wasn't inside of a room here. All right, so now let's go ahead and clear our camera and we're gonna go back into the camera predictive menu here. We're gonna go camera self and we're gonna set Minecraft free just like before so now we've gone over a position and we've gone over a rotation and we've gone over eases as well now you can combine all these different ones as well or you can use facing is the last option for us so we're gonna go ahead and set Minecraft to free and we're gonna go facing and we can do facing ourself as our first example and you can see that it is facing down at the player. And then let's go ahead and face a different entity. I have a armor stand over here and his name is example. So we're gonna go entity name is example. So name example. And now we're facing that armor stand there. And if you wanted to do that same thing Let's go ahead and clear it so we're back to my player. And if you wanted to like choose a position to face the entity, so let's say we thought it would look a lot better if we were facing him from this position right here. So let's go ahead and choose a nice position and we're gonna go in Minecraft free and then we're gonna choose a position and I'm gonna do where I'm standing and then we're gonna face that entity just like before. And now you can see that it'll lock the camera wherever you'd like it to just like that facing a particular entity. And now you can lock the camera the same way I did based on coordinates as well. So let's go ahead and clear that. And let's go ahead and try to face the armor stand again just for example. But this time we're not going to use um, tildes. We're going to choose like a certain position. So let's go ahead and stand up on top of this here. And we're going to go ahead and grab the coordinates. So I'm going to copy those coordinates. And I'm going to take them and put them in here as the position. And we're going to go ahead and put that there. And we're gonna get rid of this facing. And we're gonna see which way it default faces us with that coordinate. So now you can see that it was probably one coordinate higher that we wanna do because it usually will grab the position at our feet. So now we're one coordinate higher here, but we're not really facing that armor stand like we'd like to. We're facing over here straight and we'd like to face it over to the right. So let's go ahead and add a rotation value. And we're gonna do zero on the Y and we're gonna do 20 on the X and you can see now I've tilted it slightly more towards the armor stand but I'd like to do a little bit more so let's try 30 40 so maybe something like 50 or 60 would have us facing that armor stand just like we wanted to and now I've set up a dynamic camera over in the corner of the room so you guys can picture how if you set up a preset camera angle like this you could sort of use it like a security camera so if I wanted to like always have this security camera watching this little admin station for my admins inside of this room which I have no need to do but if that's something that I wanted to do then we can go ahead and set this up as a preset camera angle using a tag as well so let's go ahead and make our own preset camera angle here and let's go ahead and use a tag for this 
Let's use one that follows us around dynamically rather than a stationary one though. So we're going to go ahead and do test out a position that we would like to use first. So we're going to go ahead and do set and we're going to go Minecraft free and then we're going to position it at my player 10 blocks above my player's head and then we're going to rotate it and we're going to do zero or actually we're going to do 90 zero so this is going to be that basic one that faces down on top of our head again and now we're facing down on top of our head but you can see that this does not move with me so if we go ahead and we grab the position that our player is at with an execute command so if we go slash execute execute if I could type execute and we're gonna go at P and then we're going to do as self run camera and you can see it updated my camera position so if I run that again here it should whoops I added a slash there it should update my camera position and then if I move around again and I run that it'll update my camera position so now we know that we like this command here and we can go ahead and copy this command and we're going to need to clear our camera angle Now I'm back here in first person free. I'm gonna grab myself a command block and we're gonna paste that command that we just worked on there into a execute command. Now if you guys were to run this execute command as is, you might get stuck inside the camera angle forever. So like I said, let's not do that. Let's add a little bit of safety to this. So we're gonna go ahead and add a tag and we're gonna create our own camera tag here for cam5 because I already have four of them. And this is how we're going to run the command dyna dynamically. So it will always grab the position of the player and put us 10 blocks above their head facing downwards. So now we're going to go ahead and turn this command to always active. And it's always good to have it to turn previous output on. It says no targets match selector. So we know the command is running good. It's just not finding a person. So now we're going to go ahead and add ourselves that cam tag. So we're going to go tag at self add cam5. Must have typed something wrong here. Oh, yeah, this is what we have to do. So we're going to execute at P as P. That's what the problem is here. And then we're going to run that camera angle. And now you can see that I've executed at myself. And it follows me around dynamically, but it doesn't look very good, does it? It's pretty glitchy. Um, it basically every tick it's trying to find a new position for me so there's a couple of different ways that you can attempt to get rid of that glitch you could just go ahead and put a delay on it and then it would only run every so often which I don't think is very smooth so you can see how I'm walking around and it eventually every 60 ticks will go ahead and find my player or you can go ahead and use a ease so we're gonna go camera set minecraft free and then right after the ease or right after the actual um, camera angle type we're gonna put a ease and we're gonna choose an amount of time and for this to run dynamically we're gonna do 0 0.1 and then we're gonna choose the ease type so we're gonna do in circ and then we're gonna leave the position and all that kind of fun stuff that we like here and then actually we have to remove that delay now because I put a delay for example so we're gonna use no delay and then you can see that this is going to dynamically fall us around much less glitchy. It's not going to be as shaky because we're using that ease. If you go ahead and turn the ease delay up too high when you're doing one of these repeats, it kind of still feels a little bit glitchy because the camera itself is taking a while to catch up to where I'm walking. So it's one second off of where I'm walking and you can see it's very slowly moving towards my player, but it's really not 
fast enough. So I find that the best thing to do is to go 0 0.1 when you're trying to do it dynamically like this. So that there is obviously putting a camera angle above our heads, but it's not really relative to the way that we're looking or anything like that. So this might not be the camera angle for you. You might not want this. So let's go ahead and remove camera five. And we're going to go ahead and clear our camera angle so we can walk around. And then this one here was the one that I originally set as well above player, which is basically the exact same camera angle that we just made for cam one on cam five. So we're going to ignore that one. And then this one here is the free cam one that I was showing you guys, which is cam two. And we're basically executing at a person with the tag of cam two as a player. We're running camera and we're running it at self that Minecraft free we're using our typical ease of 0 0.1 and you can use any ease you'd like to but then this time we're positioning it with carrots instead of tildes so I have it positioned 40 blocks above the players head or above where the players looking rather and you can see that that was pretty far away so let's change it to 20 so you can see a different example of it and then we're gonna go facing carrot 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 as well and then to see that we're gonna go ahead and add ourselves cam 2 and then this is the camera angle that we were originally looking through the free cam one that I called it where you can basically you know clip through different rooms and stuff like that so if I wanted to look down into one of these rooms I could go ahead and spin my camera angle and walk towards them and then it would like look through the wall for me and stuff like that so it's pretty cool camera angle for sure I think that this could be very useful and then let's go ahead and remove cam 2 from ourselves and we're gonna clear our camera angle again and then I showed you guys those two other dynamic ones where I was in front of the player and behind the player where the player is facing and the way that I did that is basically the same thing we did execute at anyone with a different camera tag so I did cam 3 SP and we're running camera at their self, setting Minecraft free. We're doing the ease of 0 0.1, and we're using whichever ease we'd like. I used in underscore circ. We're positioning it with some carrots. So I did 20 away from the player. So you can change that distance to be smaller if you'd like to. And then facing at self. So the player that it's choosing the camera angle on, it's going to face at that player. So let's go ahead and add ourselves camera three. And once I get myself stabilized here, you can see that it will follow the way the player is walking. So it will face my person and it'll go ahead and follow me. And then let's go ahead and remove cam three. Added a D there. So remove cam three and we're going to clear camera angle. We're back over here in first person and I'm going to show you one more example here and this is the exact same thing as the last command. The only difference is I did negative 20 instead of positive 20. So just so that we can experience a different distance, let's do negative 10 facing at self and then we're going to go ahead and add camera 4. And now you can see it's right behind my player, similar to how normal third person looks. So there's lots of different things that you guys can use to go ahead and mess around with this camera command. You certainly could build all kinds of different creations. The next section of the camera command that I'd like to go over with you guys is the camera fade. So we're going to do a camera at self fade. And it's going to do a default fade with the default color of black for the default amount of time. And then of course you can do different color fades for the default amount of time as well. And you can do a RGB value, red, green, and blue that is. So let's go ahead and do 255 for my red, zero for my green, and zero for my blue. We're going to get a red screen. That's gonna be for the default amount of time. And then as well, you can go ahead and add in a time. So you go fade time and then you get three different time values. So we're going to go ahead and do a time and we're gonna do it without a color first. So we're gonna do time one for our fade in, three to hold the fade and one to fade out. And we're going to use the default black and you can see it held the fade, this dark screen for much longer. And if you wanted to see the reverse of that, let's fade in for three, hold one and fade out for three and it fades in very slowly holds it for not very long and fades out very slowly and then you can go ahead and add that color back to it with your RGB value let's do red of zero 
we're going to do blue 255 and we're going to do green 255 and we're going to get a funky cyan blue type of thing and you can do any different combination you'd like to with the RGB values so let's go ahead and try 255 on here and 255 on here and we got a purple because we did red and blue so if you guys found this video helpful please go ahead and like and subscribe over here to arctic shark games on youtube and if you have any trouble with the camera command feel free to jump into the shark commander's discord and keep in mind that the camera command is in experimental so not very many of us are familiar yet as well as it is subject to change and as always keep on commanding